Greetings, Commanders, and welcome back to Tuesday Newsday on the official Ark of War channel. The Galactic Battle Season 10 Finals has ended Friday, 5 a.m. Win versus DZG happened. I live-streamed it back on my channel with a special guest if you want to check that out. Um, I got some good replays from it, but I want to say congratulations to DZG. They put up a hell of a season. Uh, CAD and a bunch of other guilds uh, worked together to join up with DZG to uh, put on a clinic on how to do Galactic Battle in the most organized and best way we've ever seen it. Uh, I did talk to Douglas, and he said that their strategy was pretty straightforward against us. Their whole plan was to move all their ships to the line, take over observation towers, and then slowly and method methodically reinforce their lines as we attempted to break through as they held the vision towers and slowly moved down on us. They jumped right to the first stronghold. They were able to hold it. Uh, offensive uh, maneuvers are favored in galactic battle, and uh, because of our inability to overwhelm them, they were able to hold it. Within an hour, the battle... Well, let's just talk about no spoilers if you want to check it out it was a great battle here are the top replays from the battle this was number one hades dragon slayer versus dragon slayer you have to assume dragon slayer on the left is going to lose dragon slayer on the right can't be using Swee. and uh frankly <laughs> that happened so fast he doesn't have the right troops but because it's a pure penetration build even though he has less gear uh he had first strike hades huge crushing blow this is before the alpha injectors oh Two billion. Here comes the shockwave. Shut him down. Um, we did take the point lead early. Unfortunately, though, uh, we did lose it soon after. All right, and my favorite replay of the whole live stream: me versus Douglas from DZG. I threw up a sweet build on my Gilly, and my job was just to defend the strongholds. Douglas was jumping around in our territory. I spotted him. I was on stream. I was like, "Should we do this? Should we do this?" Uh, so I went ahead, sent for him. My tier 12 infantry in the front, well, tier 12 HP in the back, I don't have full slots. Listen, guys, it's hard to get full slots. But here I go against a Dragon Slayer, the ultimate bane of infantry, the absolute menace for the last season. Uh, I was able to uh, pull a fast one with my sweet gear. He didn't have enough resistance weekend. And uh, it's a bit of a longer replay because I just don't get the triggers I want early on. Um, but obviously, because of the smile on my face, I won. I won convincingly. Now, of course, this tier 12 uh, tear space damage on the bottom did do some damage to me. I didn't walk away unscathed. But uh, ultimately, uh, it was a big win for me. Probably the best replay of, of my career and most definitely the best uh, galactic battle we've ever had. As far as action is concerned, how does it rival compared to FBI versus DZG the week before? Well, FBI gave them a bit better of a fight than we did. They had a, maybe a better strategy, whatever you want to call it. But um, overall, a, a huge success. Number 10, the Galactic Battle is in the books. Every season's been getting better. The battles have been getting better. The organization has been getting better. The ships have been getting better. There is some criticism to be had, right? Having all the best ships and uh, the best organization, all the best people on one planet, one guild... Uh, does make for great galactic battles, but it does mess up the smaller guilds and servers. And in a game like this, we're constantly evolving and trying to figure out what's best for it. Um, we'll see if the developers want to change that. That's really up to them. Uh, in the meantime, we'll just enjoy it and the accounts we've built and uh, with the people we've uh, been playing with. Happy Birthday 7 Pirates Anniversary event is here. It's a two-week-long event. Some videos have been put out to cover it, uh, but I'll do a quick run-over of it. Uh, basically, it's a Crimson Behemoth Level 9 monster event. That's that's what I'm most interested in. Those Level 9 monsters can drop crystals, which can give you unlimited crystals. Uh, there are replays on how to successfully attack those monsters so you don't get destroyed. If you're an infantry comm, uh, if you have at least Tier 8, you can try something like this. If you have Stella, if you have Ares, if you have Virgo Gems, you have a good chance of lowering their damage so they don't take any damage. Uh, but this is a good march here for minimizing losses be careful the crimson nine behemoths do have a guaranteed hit and uh, they can make for some terribly devastating hits if you're not ready for it lucky for us though uh, there are videos if you want to learn more about that on youtube uh, also you can just ask your guild a lot of players are really smart in how to do that organizing your march is a big part of this game you you should know that and you should be good at it and crimson nine behemoths are uh, a good way to roll the dice so um there are ways to do it without m as much risk but there's always some risk Okay, uh, what else do we have here? Subscription gifts. Uh, yes, so if you didn't take a picture of yourself and send it into the community at 7pirates email, do that. We uh, we would always like to have more and more subscribers to this channel. This is the official channel. Share it with your friends. Share it with your guild. Share it with your line, WeChat, whatever, WhatsApp, whatever you use. Uh, get players subscribing to the official channel. This is where we want to drive the players to so they can put out better marketing, better promotion, better advertising. Uh, we're really in the infancy stages. So thanks for being here. Thanks for supporting this channel. Um, it's a lot of fun. A lot of us have been wanting this for a long time. So very cool. 
We're having a success rate for adding leadership, BOGO mags. Um, we do have increased hospital capacity for all you guys that do run into those Crimson Nine behemoths. Uh, and then, of course, there's going to be new stuff rolling out as the days goes on. There's a gold buy event. There's a gold spend event. There's items you could redeem uh, available. The ambitions available. And, of course, the uh, airship weapon. And not the infantry or walker. But it, it, it may vary by server. So take a look at your own event. See what you have there. Um, there's also the Nidhogg event. So you can have the chance to get you know just better prizes and stuff. If you do want to spend, uh, I can go ahead and spend those. And then you get them at different thresholds. I need to get 300. Am I there? No, I'm at 280. So I'm getting close. Um, there's uh, benefits for uh, recharging. These do change every day, so keep an eye on these. Dragon Slayer was available for 100 bucks earlier. Uh, and I do think Faction Commander chests are going to be available too. So if you're trying to get your hands on a Mysterious Warrior or Hancock or Regina, uh, now is your chance. Um, that should pretty much cover that event for now. Respawns are every four hours uh, on server reset, so noon, 4, 8, 12. Simple enough. I want to do a little PSA as a reminder. Uh, first off, marching speed 25%, the ones you get from monsters, can now be upgraded, just like the time speed ups. You can gamble them as well. Uh, so if you want to add, I think it's two or four. Yeah, okay, it's, it's only one. So two 25% makes a 50%. Simple enough, right? So if you do farm a lot of monsters, you have a bunch of 25%, and you realize how useless those can be in really fast-paced PvP, you can now upgrade them. So that's a nice, uh, nice little addition. Uh, you can buy seven-day shields. They do exist in the shop. If you go to the shop here... Look for other, you can find shields. Seven days, they do exist. Uh, unfortunately though, when you go to add a shield right now, if you just click our call bubble and go to your shields here, you don't have the choice for seven day. That hasn't been implemented yet. I uh, expect that to come soon. And the last thing, if you didn't know that you could change hyperspace crystals back to unlimited crystals, you certainly can. If you are a tier nine, tier 10 player, you still don't have a use for hyperspace and you need the unlimited crystals more, the hyperspace crystals you get from peak contests and other events can now be converted to unlimited crystals at the cost of a little bit of, of cash. All right, let's plug in the plug-in skills. The Alpha Injector is here. The fourth commander skill is live. You can see on any commander, the fourth ability is locked. You can go over to the warp gate. You can click on plug-in skill, and you can buy an Alpha Injector with these uh, shining medals, which you can get from All-Star Contests. Uh, I think they're also in packs. And you can start buying other commander skills to add to your fourth skill. Of course, some skills are obviously going to be better than others. Some are going to be more expensive than others. Um, as the weeks go on, we're going to be breaking down which skills are going to be best for which commanders. The general consensus now is that the best commanders in the game are just going to get better. Elf with Full Metal Steam Cannon. Rogers with Reinhardt's Thorn. Stella with Sleep Bomb. Gilly with Sleep. Keep an eye on all the channels and... Um, Keep your ear to the ground. A lot of cool stuff is going to be coming because of this. You know, as this game develops, it went from being just Golem to just Rogers, then to Rogers and Elf, and then Reinhardt, Rogers, Elf, and then Full Metal, and then Gilly and Stella came back in. So uh, as these more uh, skills get more developed and commanders start rising up, it really does add a nice balanced rock, paper, scissor uh, environment to the game, where there's still obviously the best commanders in the game, but um, there's a lot more choices for everyone else. Still would be nice to have an infantry spell damage commander. All right, that's it for Tuesday. Tuesday. My name is Mel. Thanks for watching. We